President Moon also visited a museum with Indian Prime Minister Modi on his second day as Modi ordered a special traditional dance to be performed at the dinner that President Moon had with local Korean residents. Our Blue House correspondent Hwang Ho Jun has more. They followed Gandhi's last footsteps before he was assassinated all the way to the monument and paid a floral tribute. On Monday, President Moon Jae-in and Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi visited the Gandhi's Miriti Museum, which is where Mahatma Gandhi, also known as the father of the nation, spent the last years of his life. Visiting the museum was one way for the South Korean president to express his respect for Gandhi, a spiritual leader and a symbolic figure of the Indian independence movement. But it was also a nod to his 3P plus policy, a future-oriented partnership with India by focusing on people, mutual prosperity and peace, especially promoting cultural exchange among the peoples himself. And this even more highlighted during his dinner with local Korean residents. A traditional Indian dance was performed at the dinner meeting depicting the love story of King Kim Suro of Korea's ancient Gaya Kingdom, who married a princess from the Indian Kingdom of Ayuta, who became Queen Ha. The dance was ordered to be choreographed by the Indian Prime Minister himself. President Moon expressed his appreciation for Prime Minister Modi and India's warm welcome. He said India's hospitality was not just for himself, but for the whole of South Korea, as this whole New Delhi relationship has become significant to both countries. President Moon also thanked the local Koreans for their efforts to enhance the status of South Korea in India and further encouraged them to serve as the bridge between the two countries. The fact that Prime Minister Modi will have accompanied President Moon to 11 different events by the end of his four-day stay in India shows that the two leaders are determined to navigate the 21st century as partners not only in economics but in various aspects in South Korea-India relationship. Hong Jun, Arirang News, New Delhi.